around. Okay, ready? Clappy thing. Uh, hey everyone, uh, welcome to Beer Explaining for the uh, beautiful month of November. Boom! Movember. Movember. Do a little test chat here for a second um, before we start and explain everything. Okay, the sound is good. Great. Okay, now we're going to restart with the welcoming again so I can yes. do this. this is much fun. All right. All right, Denise, clap everything. Yeah. Oh, ready? Okay, clap everything. Ready? Hey, everyone. Welcome to uh, Movember 1st's beer splaining episode. You can see Shane and I are rocking the stashes. Um, his is way more interesting than mine. <laughs> interesting is a good word. Oh, man, it looks so bad on camera. <laughs> Our hope is to uh, let this bad boy grow out all month. Uh -huh. And uh, if I'm lucky, I can Fu Manchu. If I'm unlucky, I won't be able to because it's not a thing I think I'm capable of doing. Um, but I'm, I'm going to try. Done. I'm working on it. I'm going to try anyway. Triple A batteries? Triple A batteries. Those should be on the. Yeah, we need those. Those should be on the. All right. Anyway. All right. So, anyway, back to beer spreading. All right. Hoppy this hippo. is uh, some Yeah. Hoppy Hippo. Beer's not bad square. Welcome to the show. Thanks for tuning in. So, uh, this week's episode. Is the long-awaited wheel of adjunct? Um, so you can see this. What we have in front of us are ten really disgusting-looking things with um, Pabst Blue Ribbon in them and uh, stuff. We're gonna pour ourselves a little Pabst right now, so we can get that pre-game Pabst taste. But first, we should read. Oh, yeah. we're gonna read you the ribbon. Yeah. We're gonna read you about Pabst Blue Ribbon Brew. This is the original Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Nature's choicest products provide, wow, it's prized flavor, prized flavor. Only the finest of hops and grains are used, selected as America's best in 1893. I mean, that's one of those things where you just get it once and you just talk about it the rest that's, of the time. Yeah, that's, 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 that's wild right, though, right there. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Um, I agree with you. You know this is made with super fine products. We paid about 75 cents a fucking can. Yes. And the aluminum itself is probably like a dime. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Uh, so yeah, uh, so let's so let's talk about Pabst Blue Ribbon. As, as mentioned, Pabst Blue Ribbon is super old. It's founded in uh, Wisconsin, per the can, in 1844. Um, Shane was only five then. I was only five. Um, I wasn't born yet, as it turns out. Um, so yeah, so I don't even know. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna taste some Pabst Blue Ribbon with nothing in it, just to see. Yes. What it's like, and then we're so, gonna uh, spin this wheel. Yeah. Yeah. So if you get, if you do the aroma really quick, you get a straight I think up it pilsner. Yeah. You get a straight up pilsner. <sighs> That's actually super drinkable. It is. It's a it's a very crushable, easily put back. You know, this is this is something you go to the bar and you order a picture of and you drink it all yourself. I think this is fine. I don't think it's bad at all. Like I mean, I compare it to some of the other pilsners I've had, like um. Mass market ones like Stella, for example, is a pilsner. I actually like Stella a little uh, bit more than this. I think they're very similar. I don't like Budweiser at all. The the Beechwood aging in the Budweiser is not. I'm not a big fan of that. So this isn't bad. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't expect that the flavor is going to improve as we drink more of this because we're gonna drink warm beer with shit. It's not warm. Um, it's in fridge. Fair. That's fair. Okay, so um, <coughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm delaying a little bit because this whole idea is <laughs> terrible. This was not my finest moment, um, but. You know what you won't do for your fans. Yeah, for mm -hmm. uh, for all three. For the cost. You want to put the wheel here and I'll so, it for you? So we're gonna do this. Let's, uh, let's, here we go. Let's, let's, oh, I should say that uh, after we taste these bad boys, I don't know. We're not tasting them all. We're gonna do five. Five, I think. Yeah. We're gonna do five of them, and then from there we're gonna move on to a uh, non-blind taste test of um, what I like to refer to as the theme of <laughs> bottles that were in my fridge that I haven't drinking in a while. So. We're going to taste those, and then we have a Sour of the Week again. Yes. Uh, brought to you from Dunlow Brewing Dunlow once again, again mm -hmm. uh, out of beautiful Davis. Uh, today's is a Watermelon Chili Lime Gosa. And uh, if you saw the Pocket Taco video or the Oak Age Sour from last week's um, Beer Swing, you know that uh, we haven't had a bad beer from Dunlow yet, so no. I'm expecting a... Honestly, I'm, I'm hopeful that's the best beer of the day. <laughs> so Yes, well, well it, it has a pretty good chance to be. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, all right, let's fucking do this, right? All right. All right. Uh, spin Amber. a wheel. Spin that wheel. Peanut butter crunch. <laughs> okay. Peanut butter crunch. Of course, peanut butter crunch. 
This is so, the peanut butter crunch right here. Yep, as you can see. I believe it's got the world's finest ingredients. Nature's choicest beer here. Yes. Absolute ribbon. Absolute ribbon. And uh, what, what's, our, what's our peanut butter cereal? Cap'n Crunch peanut butter crunch. Okay, great, great. Um, so the question is, are you supposed to, is it like boba? You just want to- I am like, not drinking the boba. That's <laughs> not like, happening. No, 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 no. You can do the boba. I, All right, let's talk, let's talk about appearance. Oh, oh. Ross. It's- <laughs> <laughs> So you can avoid this uh, cereal? Uh, no, I can avoid the cereal. Let's keep pouring it. Uh, so let's talk about appearance. Uh, you know, the beer looks foggy and icky. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the cereal, cereal, <laughs> cereal yeah. on top looks real marginal. Um, <laughs> yep. I'd give this like a five. You'd give it a five? <laughs> <laughs> that is showing the generosity of Corey because um, I'm already not wanting to do this. The cereal has expanded and basically almost become one giant puff of peanut butter crunch. Uh, there's a film on the top of it. It looks like in many of these there's a film, but there's an especially <laughs> filmy film. I can't even, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> and All right, well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I've moved on to smell already, right, and uh, I give the smell like an eight Ooh, and a half or a nine. It's it's solid great. peanut butter, yeah. Peanut butter. I agree. It's yeah. yeah. Look, if it tastes like it smells, I'm gonna love this beer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna taste like it smells. I don't think so either. No. Well, Oh, uh, well, hey, bottoms up. Cheers. I'm not doing bottoms up, but you. Okay, okay. So, I have two thoughts. One, the beer is actually pretty good. It actually <laughs> did impart a nice little bit of flavor to it. A little, but not enough. There's not quite enough peanut butter. It doesn't uh, have enough of the finish for me, but. But the worst part of this is when the um, <laughs> soggy balls just hit your mouth. And um, the texture is really, really unpleasant. It's not yes. an experience I've had much, so. No, I'm not used to this. Um, let's try again. I got. Yeah, it's 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 actually mild on the peanut butter. I would have thought I'd get more, but it's actually not. I think it's pretty good. If, like you, if this were an actual beer without all the other stuff in it, I would probably enjoy this beer. I agree. If, if the if it didn't have a floating I I drink that. mountain of so I actually ate a piece of peanut butter crunch when I was putting it in there because I haven't had it in so long that I can remember what it tastes like. And it actually doesn't have that strong of a peanut butter flavor. No, it's actually a fairly mild peanut butter flavor. So. Yeah, but, do you want to try this one? No. <laughs> that looks absolutely disgusting. Are you going to pour a beautiful beer for us to show off? Eventually, probably. Okay. All right, so... Um, all right, I would um, give this a pretty high rating overall. Yeah, I... You know, I am less disgusting than I thought it would be. Honestly, if, if we strained out the peanut butter crunches, I mm -hmm. think this would be really good. I just... They hit, like, the top of my lip, and it's just still so weird. I agree. I agree. All right. Oh. Um, Ms. Amber? Yeah. Okay. All right. That was probably one of the better ones we're going to get today. I'm hoping we get honey next. Uh, which one of them is the honey? Uh, right in the center. This one right here? Yes. All right, this is the honey beer. You can actually see the honey at the bottom. Maybe yeah. we do want a straw. I did stir. stir it when I poured or it. I can't, I, can't, I can't go get the straw. No, um, yeah. we're, we're attached. So uh, I'll start with, I actually like the color. I think the honey is giving it a little bit more of a brown. Oh, it's a nice amber. It's, like, it's a really, really great good, nice color. Amber. And I actually like the, um, the berries from, you know, from dark to light. I think it looks pretty oh, good. Oh, the honey is thick. Yeah, it's thick. Well, and it got poured into something cold. That so is true. It's not really. Put it's not going to do this a whole lot. In the center, put your straws, in there. straws. All right, all right. So uh, let's talk about the smell. Well, let's talk about your appearance. The appearance right about. It looks good. <laughs> I like the appearance a lot, actually. But I don't get. I'm not getting much honey aroma. I, the beer is going to overtake the honey aroma. Yeah, I, the honey aroma is not going to be quite like the peanut butter. <laughs> beer, that's probably true. Um, I'm trying to share the video. It's uh, you know, I don't know. You know, this could be okay. I think it's going to be fine. To be perfectly honest, I think it's going to be fine. Honey's not a real strong flavor, so it should be fine. Actually, this is... <coughs> so the Pabst Blue Ribbon flavor um, doesn't really come through a ton. The honey, especially since I stirred it, I think it's really, really overpowering. It's almost like drinking... Um, it's basically just like eating honey. It's um, nowhere near as unappealing as I thought it might be. But um, we've, we've hit two good ones in a row, so... Oh, I like the honey flavor that it gives. No, it's like drinking, it's just like eating honey. Like there's a little bit of a beer flavor mm -hmm. there, but it's just mm -hmm. kind of like if you just got like a, a honey, like a, a honey I agree. dollop. I agree. Like, yeah. No, it's, I, I, I think it's, it's pretty good. good. Solid honey flavor, yeah. I think it's pretty good. Um, I would rate it, um, I'd rate it pretty well. I, I think it's probably better than the peanut butter one, but that's more because of the texture, I think. On its own without the texture showing the peanut mm -hmm. one, they'd be fairly similar, but it's not bad. Oh, let me share. I didn't get it. Oh, well. I think it's good. I do. I like it. Yeah, I think you're right. We probably looked out so far. Yeah, it's going to get worse. For fuck's sake, one of these has popcorn. Yes. 
Yeah. One of them has popcorn in it. Caramel corn. And we didn't strain it. There we go. Chipotle or hot caramel corn, no less. Um, so yeah, okay. Um, there we go. So I'm looking at these beers, and I'm thinking to myself, <clears throat> self, I I really hope that we don't spin the candy bacon <clears throat> or the popcorn. I bet you the candy bacon will be good. Or whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> Isn't this the nut sauce? I need. Or is it yes. this one? Yes. No, you're right. What's this one? Vanilla. Oh, that's a dark vanilla. <clears throat> <clears throat> that looks <clears throat> disgusting. <laughs> Callie's joined the show and she recognizes that what we're doing is ridiculous as well. Uh, all right, great, let's spin right, again. Spin that wheel. Should they put some spicy jelly bean bread? <coughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, hot tamales. Yeah. Okay, uh, fair warning. Hot tamales is a lie. There are no hot tamales. But they are spicy hot jelly bellies. Hot, 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 hot jelly bellies. They're not even hot jelly bellies. They're like stupid hot jelly bellies. <laughs> Ridiculously it's spicy just, it's just hot jelly bellies from... The Jelly Belly Factory. Yes. Um, it's in front of the bacon. It's this one. Yeah. It's this, yeah. this one. That one's uh, Sour, Sour Patch. Sour Patch. Oh, like, it's definitely not spiced up. None of them are good. So, the color, I would say, is unappealing. There's like... It's, uh... <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh... Um, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Sriracha, okay. jalapeno, okay. cayenne, okay. habanero, Ooh. and Carolina Reaper. Ooh. And I mixed them. They're all there. <laughs> <laughs> there might be one well, or two missing. I didn't uh, like it. Well, it smells like, like they're not missing. Death. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this might be our best episode ever. But be glad you're going to get in the middle and not at the end. Just be ready to brew some chai tea or something. <clears throat> You'll be fine. There we go. All right, Shane's going first. Here we go. Oh, go at the same time, you cheater. Don't say anything, Shane. Oh, did it. All I want to know is how hot it is. <laughs> oh, my God. Why am I doing this? <laughs> is it bad? It's bad, isn't it? It's fucking bad. Oh, Actually, no. Okay. Uh, you I, fix it. I get it, it's got a. Uh, the problem is because it's a liquid, it's burning way back there, like way back at the back of your throat. You should have mixed <clears> it first. <throat> then all the spices would be all in there. Okay, I took a super <clears throat> small sip and um. There's definitely some spice flavor. And, it's um, not. It's not as bad as you would think. Shane's right. Shane's right. The burn is coming like not even in my throat. It's like damn near in my <clears throat> chest. Yes. It was all the way back there. But I stirred it up. I'm not drinking any more of this because I'm not trying to ruin my day, though. Sorry. Um, would not advise. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that helped. Yeah, you, I know. It probably made it helped worse. Helped what? Oh, man. It made it worse. It's because <clears throat> uh, stir it. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> but I do want to say this. Um, so stir it. I have it. had worse tasting pepper beers. That's fair. No, I'm not drinking this. Seriously. Like, I can't do it. Like, I have really bad reactions to crazy spice sometimes. Says the guy who did the spicy hot dog challenge. Yeah, that's why. That literally, literally scarred me for my entire life. I'm going to put these out front so we can see what we're going to taste. There we go. All right. Uh, I, I, I don't think that was terrible. It's a question. Uh, it's in the spare bedroom on top of the shelf because I need to keep it out of the Oh, which means you can't get to it. No, she's as tall as you. You can reach the top of the shelf. She can reach the top of the shelf. Good luck. Don't drop it, everyone. Yeah. Spin that wheel. Spin that wheel. Okay, good. The burn is gone. So that's nice. Oh, the burn does not last. <laughs> it did help to stir. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, technically, in this particular case, you have to go with where the pointer is pointing to. I, I agree. So it would be the stone hot sauce. <laughs> Do you want to show them the stone Yeah, so we were supposed to try to get um, habanero Tabasco sauce, but no. they did Chipotle. Or the Chipotle. They had the Chipotle Tabasco sauce, but I thought it was habanero. They but then I saw it. They didn't have it. <clears throat> they did. Oh. They, I was looking for, uh, no, they had sriracha. Yeah, yeah. They had sriracha. They didn't have Chipotle. 
But I was looking around and I saw this. Stone, the brewing company down in Southern California, makes a Tangerine Express IPA hot sauce. And I thought, well, since we're putting it in beer, why not? It makes perfect sense. So uh, let's see if it tells us what yes, kind of peppers are in it. It's uh, <laughs> ingredients. Here we go. Stone Tangerine Express IPA, blah, 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 blah. All that stuff there. Pineapple juice, distilled vinegar, honey, tangerine zest, salt, pectin, crushed red pepper, black pepper, ginger. Why oh, is that going to be that hot at all? It's not going to be that hot. It's going to be way more reasonable than the jelly. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, habanero. There we go. It is going to be vinegar. Habaneros are in there, too. So it'll have a little bit of a spice to it, but <clears throat> it is quite possibly one of the most disgusting looking ones, but you know, we're going to do this right. Start I, I, was gonna do it. I can do two. I can do two at a time. I can do, yeah, I can do two twice. Yeah. Yeah, you do both sides. Oh, this is so this is this is a bad idea right there. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh Corey is gonna give this a four on appearance. <laughs> no, this one no, this is worse than that. This one's got like fucking particles in the bottom. <laughs> yeah. This is terrible. Why are you doing this? I'm, why not? I don't know, because it's a terrible idea. It's a Halloween it's a episode. <clears throat> Trick or treat, Corey. Alright, let's do it. Uh, let's talk about smell. Ooh. It smells like fucking wow. vinegar. Fucking urine or something. It's terrible. <laughs> smells horrible. <laughs> it smells so bad. And the the funny part is, smell worse than it looks. It it. The funny part is like I can sm I, you start with the smell of a hot sauce and go oh this could be ah uh, no wait there's beer. <laughs> that's literally what my nose does. It goes oh this hot sauce no oh, that's beer no oh no 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 here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I may have put too much. That is the that is the worst. Okay, actually, you know what it has the beginning of a taste like to me. The very oh. initial taste, and I'm not a huge oh, fan God, of them. Stuck in my throat. <laughs> God, it's like Bloody Mary. It starts oh. with it. I oh. actually think this would be a very good Bloody Mary spice to add. Maybe a little less. <laughs> yeah, she put in about a quarter inch at the bottom of the cup, so it's a fair amount of hot sauce in there. Um, I'm not drinking more of that. <laughs> no, no. I had a couple of sips of really, everything really else, but I'm not drinking any That's more disgusting. Of that. Like, <laughs> it's got the heat from the, the sauce. I, I expect the sauce is probably quite good. I agree. Like a case of beer or something. Yeah. I bet it's really good. Um, in beer form, no, it's not great. No. I mean, it's really vinegary. Um, no. There's that little burn at the back of your throat. Um, it's not quite as harsh of a burn, I think, as the Jelly Belly. No, part. definitely not. Um, but the flavor is worse. Oh, way worse. Sure. Wait, 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 wait. But I didn't stir though either. So I stirred. Stirring, yeah. Ooh, no, 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 no. The 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 burn. It is not as hot as the jelly release by far, but it is by far the worst thing we've tasted. God, I'm so glad we ate before this. <clears throat> we don't have a bucket either, so just in case. You know. right. I ain't cleaning that shit up. All right. Well, we need a bucket. I don't even know. One more to go, Corey. Right? You said five. I think five is reasonable. Um, there are a couple here that we don't spend. We might try. Well, same as the first one. Pear. Pear. Okay, That's so, a nice, easy one. So, so if I'm looking at recipes, um, I think that I think you might just end up trying them all. Because the reality is, the only one left that looks like it's going to be so, there are two left that look like they're going to be super disgusting. Um, probably right. Popcorn and candy bacon. I think are both. How are you not disgusting. thinking pickle juice? Is I know pickle juice. How are you not thinking? The pickle vanilla juice might not be good. I tried using just a little bit because vanilla's strong, but I may still have used too much. I don't know, Am. I mean, it doesn't like you use a lot at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I would disagree. Why can't we just? Yeah. But pickle juice on its own isn't that bad. It's no. Candy. You know, it's not great, but the truth is, like, if you need to hydrate or something like that, like, it's actually a great, like, it is a good hydration. That's true. Um, that is true. And when I was younger, I would totally drink pickle juice. I don't do uh, that so as much did now. I? Uh, Oof. Oh, this oh that adult. was not the burpee. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to say this right now. All five flavors coming not. back at once is not something <laughs> that is very enjoyable. All right, so um, pear, pear seems reasonable. This is just some pears cut up and dumped in uh, a beautiful Paps Blue Ribbon Pilsner. I don't get a whole lot of other Yeah, things. it just smells like Paps. Yep. I should have muddled them a little bit. All right, just taste like pear. That didn't work. Eat a little pear. Eat yeah. a little pear. I'm going to eat a pear. I should have muddled them. I think maybe muddling might have worked. Just because <sighs> it wasn't in there long enough to really... No. Yeah. None of the flavor. Yeah, it didn't come through. It didn't come through. Nope. <clears throat> All right, well... Um, okay. <clears throat> should we spin again? You want to spin it? And... Right, let's just spin, I guess. Fine. Which, which <clears throat> ridiculous one we drink by random is sort of fun, I guess. Is anyone watching this fucking train wreck? Uh, Jennifer Keese was. I don't know if she's still there. 
Oh, it's good. I really want you to do some hot tamales again. <laughs> and the honey, it's landing on the same one. Stone it's hot sauce. Okay, this might not work. Fair. We still got a 50 50 chance. Peanut butter crunch cereal. Vanilla. Vanilla. Okay, like your wife is not one to take on to, um, prices right, apparently. <clears throat> Again, not the greatest of colors. It's got, you know, a little murky nice. brown. Smells like vanilla. Who I might have put too much. Actually, this is really good. Like, as far as beers go, um, in this lineup, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty good. It can taste like a paps, and then the, the vanilla hits the back, the back end. Okay. I think you made like a vanilla Pilsner. I would expect it to taste very similar to this. It's I would similar. want, I would want, I just want more mouthfeel. That's all I'm missing this is, but I agree. Did you throw some milk in that form? The, 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 the flavor, flavor is not bad at all. That, that, make it I will not. that wouldn't be good at all. This isn't bad though. Yeah, this is fine. Mm -hmm. The vanilla comes in at the end. It's fine. I think it's fine. You want to try this one? It's totally reasonable. It is. It's not nearly as bad as the other Okay, great. All right. Um, Should we just pick? Let's just, let's just drink them because spinning's clearly not working. Let's move. We can move the wheel. We can move the wheel. Let's move the wheel. I put the wheel off to the side from here so we can see our beautiful plate of straws. Okay, um, oh, yeah, burping's not great. <laughs> um, I, not. I'm hoping to kind of end on a high point, and of the four that are remaining, it is my belief that the best one to drink at the end will be the Sour Patch. I'm agreeing with you, so you're um, right. I think you should do the popcorn next. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking popcorn, bacon, pickles, Sour Patch kits. Gotcha. And then at the end, we're just going to get a I big glass. We're going to dump all these into one yeah. cup. And then we're gonna try that. That was a joke. We're not doing that. <laughs> no, I did that once before. I'm never gonna do that. We're not doing that. Um, never do that. This I think is... the bacon will actually be pretty good. Just I will if you get past the congealed fat. <laughs> <clears throat> this might be the worst looking one of the bunch today. We'll stir here. This is um caramelized popcorn. I'm gonna drink this bitch out of a straw. <laughs> a little spicy. Oh my god, you can't, spicy. You can't even get to yeah, I'm gonna blow through the straw. It's nowhere near as offensive as I thought it would be. I agree with you. It's um, <laughs> caramelly. <clears throat> it's uh, the caramel comes. Okay, don't good. take extra drinks though, because it gets worse. <laughs> I'm gonna take your advice on that, Corey. It gets worse. It gets I'm worse. Take your on that. It gets worse, guys. Did you get a chunk? That's what I most. I didn't get a chunk. Get a I chunk. didn't get a chunk. I'm the straws are probably small enough. To my stomach's gonna tweak on me actually here. Alright, bacon. Okay, fuck it, bacon. Uh, we did have this candy bacon earlier in our pastrami sandwiches, and it was good. Um, now I'm just worried about the bacon fat just sort of makes Use a straw. Mm -hmm. That way you can go past it. I'm going to go for the wheel. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That might be the worst one so far. I think so, too. <laughs> because it's... Um, you do get a little of the bacon and a little bit of the sweetness, yeah, but then, you, the bacon. But then oh, you're God. like, this is beer. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This might not have been my best idea, Corey. I'm just going to admit it. I'm just going to admit it. All right, guys, so far, new ideas for the show. Shane, Will of Badger, Corey, <laughs> Sour of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> the fair criticism. Fair criticism. <laughs> oh, God. God, how they're drinking this stuff. <laughs> Two more to go, Corey. It's just going to look great on the side of the road during my run later. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be colorful. It'll be something. It, it's just going to look like beer. You're not even, like... It's real easy to stay that for the fucking side. Right, right. Side. You over there were offering you a sip and you're like, no. I that shit. I ain't stupid. Well, it smells like pickles. There's a shot. Like yeah. I put a couple tablespoons of the juice and then dropped half a pickle in each one. Okay, so the pickle juice is actually overpowering <laughs> here. Oh, goodness. It's, um, oh. Kind of like drinking salt water, though. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like I just jumped in the ocean. Yeah. And my mouth was open. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, oh. Not the worst, but it is going to sound uh, no, I, Yeah, no, I'm going that's worse. I'm saying that's the worst one. <laughs> oh, my shit. Oh, that was so bad. Wow. That was so, 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 so Wow. <clears throat> All right. Down to the one we were hopeful for. Okay, what's the next plan for the wheel? It doesn't involve adding junk to our beers. 
you know, they make beer additives you can buy that are good. And you can actually just put them in beers and they add nice flavors. That's the thing you can buy, like the good ones. Isn't that when you're making a beer, though? No, they, they no, they make some guy you can squirt the top and it gives a little flavor. Like it'll vanilla your beer or it'll raspberry up your beer. Like, yeah, we can buy those. You can probably get like a little pack on rice. You could probably do it with essential oils, too, because you can actually drink essential oils. Wouldn't it like congeal? No. Since it's oil? You would mix it. I don't know. I've never messed with this. I don't think it would mix fully. I don't support essential oils. Hey, my man. You didn't even stir yours. You gotta stir yours. Also, not the most pleasant of colors. But it feels like an offensive use of Sour Patch Kids. I'm not getting. Did we steal these from the kids' um, kids' Halloween at least? No, she bought one. (laughs) You just stole (laughs) some. I I didn't see any. Oh, we didn't have some. We should have done a Halloween candy contest. There's still Halloween candies in beer. I'm kidding. That was a joke. I was like, there's always next week. Thousand Did you bring the whipped cream and the Cool Whip? No, we got to get a pies for that. Yeah, it'll be the Thanksgiving the episode. Pie. Thanksgiving episode. There you go. You can do pumpkin brews with Cool Whip and whipped cream. Hmm. This could be a good beer. It's not sour enough. But I'm getting the candy flavor. Why don't you put a lot in there? Just put one of each flavor. You do get the candy and the sour patchy flavor. You don't get like real sour, but you definitely get that flavor. Like this, if done correctly, I think this could be a really. We should we should talk to the guy Dunlop. He likes to do risky shit. A sour patch kid beer. It could work somehow. I I mean, I agree. Yeah, yeah. The uh, candy flavor is not bad. Um. Wow. All right. So um. So to recap, my favorite of all of these. Fucking loose term. Loose term. Um, we're definitely the vanilla and the peanut butter. I liked the peanut butter and the sour patch. Yeah, the sour patch is probably right up there too. Um, the worst I think was probably the hot sauce actually. Yeah. Um, pickle juice or the pickle juice or the bacon. Those are all pickle terrible. Juice. Oh, pretty much. Um, pear didn't work. No. Popcorn was weird. Um, the heat from the jelly bellies is strange. That's all I got. I got nothing else to this. <clears throat> it was entertaining. I can't believe we just did this. <laughs> Everyone here got a good hearty laugh out of it, so maybe some folks watching out in YouTube land will listen. Yeah, maybe. Um, why not? Now we're, uh, we're going to uh, shift gears here. Okay. And we're going to try um, what I like to call three beers from my fridge. <clears throat> See, we need we need to get like logos and stuff, you know, like little signs. Beers from no, my you fridge. No, I can't. I, oh, you're right. What? I was, yeah, I would never like that. Yeah. Oh, these are still good straws. Those are still good straws. Those are good straws. Yeah, that was really weird. <coughs> oh, I don't think you go on the camera. Uh, yeah, don't burp, Corey. It's a bad idea. Just don't smell it. I know you taste it. <clears throat> yeah, but just don't smell it. Like if someone else burps. <coughs> So, three beers from our fridge. Okay, so um, while we set up our three beers in the fridge, so let's talk about uh, let's talk about this week. Uh, important things that happened this week. Um, Sean Connery died. R.I.P. Sean Connery. Yeah, yeah, he had, actually had. They said he had dementia towards the end, and so it was that's kind of bad. But you know, I I happen to agree that is double a right there. That, that's the guy. He's my favorite James Bond. Also, I really liked him in Entrapment. I thought it was good in Entrapment. Uh, I love him in The Highlander, obviously. Oh, yeah, he's great in Highlander. I love, Highlander. I love Highlander. I don't even know what happened in that series. It went crazy. But, yeah, no, he was great in Highlander. Um, so that was some news this week. Uh, also, next, also, oh, there's an election next week. So make sure if you haven't voted, you have to go vote. I, um, we're number one. Joe, we're number one. We are number one. Well, that's right. We're number one again. We're still moving up the coronavirus ranking, so that's nice. Number one, the most single-day infections of any country ever, 100,000 in one day. We're turning the corner. We're turning the corner. Fine, coronavirus is actually going to go away November 4th. That's yes. correct. So it's just disappear. Just disappear. What else right, happened? Turns out when Bill Gates created coronavirus, he put in a switch that made it turn off on November 4th. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's a true story. What else happened? We did do a Halloween. I thought Halloween was um, interesting this year. Right. What's up, dude? So, dude, um, we still had quite a bit of traffic. But, uh, uh, you know, it was, I thought it was fun overall. Most kids and parents, I thought, were really respectful and wearing hats and stuff stuff like that. We were glutonious. I was just going to get my t-shirts, but that's cool. Uh, what else this week? Is it? 
What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, it's basically just all election news all the time in America. Yeah, so. pretty much. Pretty much. No, well, Amy Coby, Amy Coby Barrett got confirmed. That was Amy a Coby Barrett. Oh, yeah, that makes him a Freudian. Yeah, yeah. they were confirmed. Um, yeah, Amy Coby Barrett got uh, got confirmed by uh, fifty two to forty eight or something. Yep. yep. I think one Democrat voted for and one Republican voted against. Was my understanding. Yeah, I think um probably. I think it was either college or a house team. <clears throat> college is trying to hold on to that seat. Yup. I hope she fucking loses. I hope she loses bad. Frankly. All right, so let's talk about these three beers in the fridge. <clears throat> Beer number one. Ooh, false alarm. False alarm. She snapped me out of there. Beer number one. Zipline Brewing Company. Hibiscus Saison. Um, we've been aging this bad boy for five or six years, probably. <laughs> I'm kidding. I actually know how long we've been aging it for, but it's probably not fresh. Uh, brewed and bottled by Zipline Brewing in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm going to guess we picked this up a total line. Um, this, is, like nice this is a big ass bottle. I wouldn't expect it to be shipped. So, <clears throat> anything on it about aging or anything? No. We're not doing ratings today either, because I didn't print out sheets and uh, we're not doing it blind. So. Well, we're, we're, it's not blind. Oh, nope, nothing. Is the brown bad? It's a pretty. Oh, hey, we're not drinking the brown. It's like a sour. Go find another bottle instead, please. All right, we're not drinking the brown, guys. Sorry, apparently uh, we kept it for entirely too long. Um, we do that a lot because we have too much beer. Actually, as it turns out. Okay. So, um, all right. Well, it's supposed to be killing a dead air here. Why don't we uh, eat another chip? <clears throat> what else happened this week? That probably feels great in the mic. Oh no, we can talk about upcoming shows. So, first of all. We're excited to announce that um, Heretic Brewing has agreed to let us do a live show with them. Talk to the brewer. We just got to figure out a date. And the mic to get situation. That done. Yeah. And the microphone situation, which we're working on, obviously. But um, very much looking forward to that. True. <clears throat> we're going to have a remote location show in two weeks. Right? Not next Sunday? It's next Sunday. Is it next Sunday? Yeah. Oh, Sunday. yeah. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. We don't know where yet, though. We, no, we don't yet. actually know where. We were thinking about a couple spots, but... Um, uh, yeah, sounds it's like a sour, right? Or yeah. Flanders or something, isn't it? Stout. Oh, stout. Okay. Right. 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 Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, so we're looking forward to that. We're not sure exactly, again, where it's going to be, but we'll be doing a live remote show next Sunday. We're going to try to do math or super, but they, uh, they had to push their opening back, so that didn't work out. So, we'll pa I think we might end up having um, Pasta Rodex, probably, mm -hmm. at um, the ba Bear Bottle. No, not Bear Bottle. Bottle something. Bottle Logic? <laughs> I don't think it's bottle logic either. I can't remember the name to be honest with you. Um, whatever, we're gonna go out there. Right? Um, I've been to the facility before. It's got a really nice outdoor section, so um, right, it's all set up nice. It'll be really, really good. Like, it's gonna be fun. I can't remember the name. Right? Barrel House. Barrel oh, House. Barrel House Brewing. They're in Paso Robles. Sure, yeah. Yes. Um, so maybe them. Um, otherwise, we might have one of the smaller breweries in Paso Robles area. Um, oh, the Burning Barrel. This was one you really wanted because it's the Imperial Stout with coconut, raspberry, and vanilla. The raspberry ganache. Oh, they make a beer. I mean, they make a beer. So, so yeah, so we're going to be on location. Um, stay tuned. Hopefully next week we'll do a couple of live shows, a couple of things like that. It'll be fun. Uh, a couple spots that we are looking at in the area to go and check out. And yes. Try tastings. So it'll be I, was, I was trying to do a live show yesterday, but, um, you know. The zombies got gotcha. you. Yeah. Darn zombies. No. Got a screw in the tire. Couldn't ride. No fun. And there's no fun. I can't believe it's how much they're hurting. Yeah, it's apparently motorcycle tires are expensive. You know, okay, it's yeah. unfortunate. So is waiting for a tow truck. Mm. Two and a half hours. Yes, that's a long time waiting for a tow truck. All right. Awesome. All right, let's try these our third one. Uh, our third one is called Panna oh, Panacotta from the Four Hands Brewing in St. Louis, Missouri. I got that in a trade. This one came from a trade. This is a white ale with lactose, raspberry, and vanilla. Um, so... We're just going to try these and uh, give you guys our thoughts on them, I guess. Yep. Uh, let's just start with the hibiscus saison since we poured it first, right? So what am I expecting out of a hibiscus saison? Obviously hibiscus, which uh, is a flower, I guess. It is a flower. I don't know exactly what hibiscus is supposed to taste like. A saison can have, it has a pretty wide range of flavors because you can go from a farmhouse saison, which has really, really wild yeast, so it can be very aromatic and very pungent to lots of uh, more mild saisons. 
they kind of vary like a lot by sours though, where it's you know they could be from super sour to super mild. I think, I think they're in the sour range. Usually. Yeah, they can be. Um, I'm not usually a big fan of saisons because I'm not a big fan of the wild yeast flavors, but you know that's just me. The hibiscus I think should calm it though. I'm not getting a lot of smell. I'm not getting a whole lot of anything. Honestly. You don't Literally. get the smell. I got some. I definitely get some smell. I get some hibiscus, but not. Not a whole lot else. It's got a nice color. I think the color's really nice. I mean, I don't think it tastes like anything, though. No. Um, maybe it's... Well, age should make it not taste like it. Age should normally just make it bad. Uh, yeah. It just kind of tastes like... Well, a it calls it a... Okay, hold on. So, reading the bottle, I think, gives it a better explanation of what they were looking for. Because it says, refreshingly tart and light body, this sessionable farmhouse ale sparkles with a unique ruby hue of the generous addition of hibiscus. And sparkle is what I get out of this. This tastes less like a beer and a little bit more like a light sparkling wine to me. That's totally reasonable. Sounds I think it's not right. So it sounds like they weren't expecting hibiscus to impart you a flavor. Not they a just wanted the color out of hibiscus, which I think they definitely achieved. Um, I agree. It basically just tastes kind of like a, a sparkling water or like a sparkling wine. Like yep. I, get, I get fizz, but not flavor. Not a lot of flavor, no. It's very mild. Um, but but again, it calls itself sessionable, meaning you don't want a big, huge flavor. I think it's fine. I think I would not buy it again. Um, or like drink it again, I don't think. No, I, I couldn't. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't finish this bottle. Yeah, the bottle's not getting finished. Um, but you know, whatever. Nothing, you that yeah. Nothing bad about it. It's just not my, you know, thing. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It took up a lot of space in the fridge, though. I can fit like three cans of space that bad. I think they though. got what they were looking for. I totally think they did. I think that's fair. I think it's fair. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. We're going to move on. Beer number two. Burning Barrel Brewing Company over in uh, Rancho Cordova. This is an imperial stout with cacao nibs, raspberry, and vanilla. 12.7% by alcohol by volume. So hopefully it kills all the other shit that's in my It's right so right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Raspberry ganache is a liquid treat. Layers of lush, creamy chocolate with a jammy raspberry sauce topping equate to a succulent cake-forward flavor profile. The taste of fresh raspberries, fudge, and milk chocolate coat your palate with each savoring sip. Well, I mean, I can tell you what, man. They write a good description. I was going to say, that was... Uh, they write a good description. And uh, they make good beer, so I'm really hopeful on this one. Let's try it. You get the raspberry. Yeah, yeah. You get the raspberry for sure. That's like all alcohol. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is um. That is a big... It's raspberry. Big beer. It's a really big raspberry stout. You get, um, I actually get like a dark chocolate and with the raspberries. The dark chocolate's like the finish. Um, it tastes like a, 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 a raspberry chocolate candy. You know? Um, <clears throat> but you do get the alcohol burn for sure. You know you're getting every bit of 12%. I'm just not sure what I think about this beer. I'm not sure what I think about this beer. I think it's probably doing what they want it to do. Um, but the description, I, the description called it kind of cake, like more cake forward sort of. That's what uh, yeah, they apply. And um, I'm not really getting, it's not invoking the idea of a cake to me when I drink it. I, I get the raspberry. I definitely. I definitely get the raspberry. But I'm thinking, and according to them too, this is one we didn't want to age. So it's probably, I think, oh, it's not that old. a little bit. No, it's no, not. It's we not that old. This, oh, this one's not recently. Oh, really? Yeah, but yeah. I thought we haven't been to Rancho Cordova for months. Well, yeah, but it's an imperial style, like three months, like max. Maybe three months, okay. I thought it was longer I don't even think it's been that long since we had the nachos. No, it was before that. No, because I killed that K. I killed that K recently. K's taking about three months. Probably. Okay. So, <clears throat> it was just a fly. I think it's okay. I don't like it. You know, um... I like the aftertaste. It's not Fake. my favorite. There's a good chance we'll Fake. be pouring something else to finish drinking later. But yeah. later. I get what you're saying, because if this were a candy, it does taste artificial. I, think that's so, fair. I agree with you. That's a fair. I think a fair. I'm going to palate cleanse before I start this last one. Though, I have real good hopes for this last one, honestly. It smells really good. <sighs> that one came from a trade as well. That came from a trade as well. Oh, no, that one did come this from, is, from a trade. This is one from a trade. Yeah. What was this one again? It says Panna Cotta. Panna Cotta. A white ale Four with beans. lactose, raspberry, and vanilla. And it's from Four Hands Brewing, which I'm pretty sure I've heard of it. So, I don't know. Um, a white you said ale. It was Missouri, though, right? Yeah, St. Louis. So a white ale should just kind of be um, like a um, Light. like a wheat ale, right? <clears throat> not quite as wheaty. Not, not, not as wheaty as like, yeah. like, a, like a blue moon. It's a very mild. Wild. No, blue moon is actually about oh, a vaginal. White ales and wits are kind of similar. No, because they have different, completely different yeast. Oh. 
They tend to. Uh, I should tell so you. a white ale should come off. So a pale ale is going to have some natural bitterness to it, not from the hops, but just from its its flavorings. A white ale, I think, should come off as a very. It's it's basically an attempt to be closer to a pilsner, to be lighter in flavor, lighter in color. Um, and I think again, if you're looking at the color of this, if there's no pink in here. This is a virtually clear beer. It looks good. It's really pretty. I agree. It's pretty. It smells great too. It smells. Ooh. It smells like raspberry and vanilla. <clears throat> I don't. The vanilla's kind of the end. Like the raspberry flavors are. I definitely like get the raspberry. It's mellow sure. like vanilla to me. It smells great. It's good. It's good. The raspberry's there. It's not as pronounced as I was thinking it'd be. The vanilla's there. Um, it's really light on the, uh, that's the mouth. A, it's very light. I'm, I'm not sure the lactose is making a difference in the, in the a mouth. A little bit. It's a little older now. But I, I, I think this one is is what it's supposed to be, and it's suffering from that. As a white ale, it's just a little bit too light. I want a little bit more behind it, more lactose, more mouthfeel. So I think they've got the raspberry quotient on. Yeah, that's for sure. I think it's well done with the raspberry. I think it's the one bottle of these three we're going to finish, though. If I were to drink more, it's probably this one. Oh, but Gordon drank more. But it's even a little sweet for me. Um, so, uh, all right, so let's see, what the, what does it say? Oh, uh, no, that's it. It just says white ale with lactose, raspberry, and vanilla. 5.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, it's got a pretty, pretty bottle of it. It is a pretty bottle. But, um, all right, so we like this one. Uh, of these three random bottles in my fridge, um, none of them are particularly disappointing. I think, um, I think there's a reason why they were still in my fridge, though. Probably. Um, this is, I, I wouldn't just walk in, like, you know, it's Friday night, I wouldn't walk into the fridge and grab one of these. Yeah, that's probably right. Probably right. It's, um, it's much more for like a vertical tasting that type of thing. Yeah, this is a big beer, so this is better with a group for sure. It's uh -huh. twelve percent here. And um, and and this, this is somebody's thing. jam though. Somebody would love this beer. And if I'm telling you now, this is a pairing beer. I want some chocolate with it. You yeah. want to have something else with it to help give you that final flavor that you're really looking for. I think it would be really good like that. <clears throat> okay, well that's gonna do it for our three random beers in the fridge today. Uh, next week we'll be doing um Live tastings again. Live tasting. They won't be blind again either. It won't be blind either. Nope. But, um, Can't be blind because it will be live. We will probably actually rate the next weeks. Though. Yes. Because so, they'll be the same. Well, they probably yes. won't actually. I don't know about rating them. Yeah, play it by ear. I don't know. we got to figure out where we're going first. Yeah, I don't but know. But it should be a fun show because it'll be live. I drink hot sauce beer. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's well, all, it's all downhill. All right, on the plus side, now we got one beer left. And frankly, I am hopeful on this beer. I'm going to move the other beer to the side here. Did you want to try this one? Uh, for sure. What what what, uh, what what are you drinking over there? Uh? Animal spirit transcend craft or beer crafters. Because <clears throat> transcend is what we need. It's good. It's good. It's on. Very mm. fragrant. I love that smell of this one. And again, a very pretty <clears throat> can. I like the smell more than the flavor. I like the art on that. More. I actually agree. I think the smell is better than flavor now. It's a good beer, though. It's fine. Well, it's a good beer. I just want more. That's all. And now, for the Sour of the Week. This one I'm kind of excited about, admittedly. So, I feel like maybe the mics weren't the best idea with the chips. I don't know what I have to hear. All right. This is a Chili Lime Watermelon Gosa, 4.4% alcohol by volume. From Dunlow Brewing, there is no... No interesting king in here that says, do it because you can, why not? Um, so we're gonna try this, 4.4% alcohol by volume. I'm excited, let's pour this. Does it have a date on it too, I'm curious. Um, we I'm literally, we, I was like, we literally picked it up from them, so. Uh, That's true, it's only about a month old, right? Yeah, we, if that, yeah. we were at the brewery, I don't know. <laughs> he picked it out for us actually. He did. Yeah, he was, said it was one of his favorites, I think. Of course. Starts with a great oh, color. Whatever, oh, yeah, we're drinking this, hopefully. Well, you know, past experience says that we tend to like these, so I thought it was probably going to be a decent pour. Um, can's cool, yeah, it's on the can. It's got watermelons and uh, limes mm -hmm. and probably chilies, but uh, I can't. Yeah, remember. chili right there. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try this. Let's see. Ooh, oh. I don't think I smell the chili, but I feel like I feel the chili in the smell. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm getting a whole bunch of gross on this. It's usually not. Oh, it's good. Oh, the chili comes in at the end. It's definitely a gosa. 
It's got that sour, uh -huh. but not tart not, flavor. Not too puckery. They do a really, really nice job tempering the um, tempering the puckeriness of the I agree. sourness. I agree. Of beer. Especially when you're adding lime. I mean, you would think that that would just add to it. But it's actually, I think it's I think, um, very I tasty. I'm still going to say this. I think Pocket Taco is a better beer. Pocket Taco is a better beer. But uh, I think this is a fine, this is a fine beer, actually. <laughs> It's the chilies, I think. I don't get a lot of watermelon out of it. I'm mostly getting lime with a little bit of chili heat. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of watermelon. I kind of wish it had that salty sort of margarita finish like Pocket Taco had. I agree. If it had that little finish in it too, I think it would be, um, it would be a better. Yeah. Uh, well, the producers are not fond of this. Not not exactly fans of the way this beer smells. I'll be honest. And this is... I tasted it. I think it's the best beer of the day. I think it's better than any one of the three we had before. I think it probably is too. I think the white elf and four hands, four hands is um, pretty close. The burning barrel one just fell short to me because um, I get way too much alcohol. It's very, very hard to do a 12.7. It doesn't do it I think it also tastes too faint. It tastes very like an artificial yes. raspberry flavor. That's fine. That's, that's pretty regional. Um, the Saison was just like sparkling water though. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan either. No. Well. Guess you we'll know, have to try some of the other stuff. Sometimes we try stuff, and uh, sometimes we don't like the beers that time. Um, this beer is good, though. I agree. But, uh, I'm looking forward to going back when they open, which hopefully should be pretty soon. Let's hope. we keep going up in cases. Well, California, well, California's down there. Right? California's doing, except for a couple of counties, your Orange counties, your Central Valleys, and San Diego County. San Diego County is apparently terrible, but most of California is doing a lot better, yes. San Diego County is a funny one. It's terrible, right? Not because they're like ignoring mask mandates because they think it's all fake, which is probably the Orange County excuse. Oh. Um, it's doing badly because I've seen the photos that I subscribed to the San Diego Reddit because um, basically all the college kids are basically still partying. Like, yep. And they're going to That's pretty much it. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, I'd be, get COVID I'd, and I, I try to imagine myself at 20, 21, 22 during this time and think to myself, would I be better? No. I don't know that I would. Oh, I gotta be honest there. Oh, I gotta wow. be honest. Okay, sorry. I got a weird extra bit of heat there. I hit the nose. Oh, wow. So now, like more than I was expecting, so. I took a quick sip. Well, folks, I think that's gonna. Wow, you're right. <laughs> I think it's, it's sitting, it's getting more peppery. Yeah. Anyway, it's actually getting better. I think the flavor is even more interesting now. Um, I agree. All right, so yeah, I think that's gonna be for today. Let's wrap up for today. Uh, Thank you all for joining us. And uh, watching us try stuff that we don't no, recommend to try. Drink. No, don't do it. Don't uh, do it. Learn big thanks to our big thanks to our producers, uh, Amber and Denise, for their help today with the uh, adjuncts. Um, the really really good wheel spinning, even though she hit a 50-50 chance wrong seven in a row. <laughs> That's impressive. But you know, it's fine. No, they did a great job today. I think, um, and we really appreciate the help. Um, we do. So, and Callie, too. Oh, yeah, Callie came in and to told us stuff was disgusting, so that's nice. Yeah, it's a good little addition that's to the nice. show. Uh, we're going to wrap. I think that's yep, it. Yeah, that's about that's it. That's what I was about today. So we're going to wrap this one up, play some cards with the wives, I think, and, uh, you know, drink some beer that uh, that we pick. That we would drink. <laughs> cheers. So everyone, everyone have a good weekend, and cheers. That was a weird show. <laughs>